What is up my friends? It is Tuesday and you are all very welcome along to today's Transfer News Roundup. As the international break is upon us, these are usually the time where the stories about players making moves away from their clubs come out. I like to think of it that agents get a little bit braver when their clients are away on international duty, knowing that they don't have to return to their clubs the next day. So I find that this time of the year, we do get these type of stories popping up. And today is no exception. I'm going to go through and take you through four stories that I think will be of interest to you guys. Some of them around our manager, some of them around additions to the Liverpool squad, and some of them around players that we could miss out on. As always, I want to know your thoughts. Let us know in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video, and of course, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. If you're watching this early, good news, at least I hope it's good news, I will be live at Anfield Agenda at half past eight tonight, so you guys can come and we can deal with this stuff live. If you're watching this back because you haven't got the time, then I'll fill you in. Let's get into it. Right, first one today is, it's a bit of a curveball really, it's not so much around a player to Liverpool, but uh, who Diego Simeone wants to replace him as Atleti manager when he departs the Wonder Metropolitano, and it probably will be is no surprise to you, because of course this is a Liverpool stream, that I'm going to say that he wants Jurgen Klopp to be the Atletico Madrid manager, and you know what, obviously I don't want Jurgen Klopp leaving Liverpool anytime soon. But if he was to go to Spain, I very, very much do think that Atletico Madrid would be the club that Jurgen Klopp would go to. That club that isn't one of the two huge established boys. You know, Atleti have had success, of course they have, but they're that little tier below the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona. So, genuinely, if Jurgen Klopp does indeed move to Spain, I could see him becoming Atletico Madrid manager, but hopefully... Well, hopefully he's at Liverpool for many, many years to come. But no surprise there that Cholo Simeone has said that if Jurgen Klopp ever does leave Liverpool, and of course, if he leaves Atleti, that he would like Klopp to take over at, at the Wonder Metropolitano. And I think it would be a good fit. Right, so, transfer talk. Three stories going to come up now, back to back to back. One of them with uh, a player you guys are aware we're interested in, and a couple of them that may be a pleasant surprise to you. So look, let's start off with news coming out of France. And... Le D Sport, if you're looking up, it's LE10 Sport. They have said that Liverpool are extremely interested in Wolves defender Aiton Yuri. They also go on to say that Wolves would look to block any moves for the player, but they do say that Liverpool are currently looking up uh, defensive options. They go on to talk about Luke Chambers and Costa Simicis may not be the solutions as the backup to Andy Robertson. And they've suggested in this piece that Aiton Yuri would be somebody that would do the job for Liverpool. Now, I have to say, I know of him, of course. I know he plays with Gary O'Neill at Wolves, but I can't say I've paid much attention to him. So what do you think? And they're like talking about this as a possible January move, by the way. So would you take out Nuri at Liverpool? I'm, I'm unsure because, as I mentioned, I'm being honest here and saying I know of him, but I don't really remember keeping an eye out for him. Um, is he the right type of player? My, you know, my own thoughts on him are that he's a marauding fullback, gets forward, attacks... And of course, they are the type of attributes that we like at Liverpool Football Club. But would he be a good fit? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that would be a good move for Liverpool in the January window? So, two big stories now to finish up with. One of them I think you guys are going to very much like, and it is this one. So, we know that Liverpool had sent scouts over to Lisbon for the Lisbon derby between Benfica and uh, Sporting Lisbon. We spoke to you about the fact they were over there looking at Gonzalo Inacio and some other players. Well, today... It's come out who those other players are. And apparently Liverpool have been looking at two players from Benfica. Those players are João Neves and Antonio Silva. Those of you who are uh, long-term viewers of the channel will know. Antonio Silva is a name that has been mentioned by both me and you guys in the past. As somebody to watch out for. One of the best young centre-backs in Europe. I think Pep Guardiola's coaching team have been looking at him as well. Uh, and I hadn't really been much publicly listed for Liverpool's interest, but uh, 90 Minutes have said that Liverpool were over there watching João Neves and Antonio Silva. So I have to say, I, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no to either of these dudes. One, obviously, João Neves, a holding midfielder, 19 years of age. The other one, a very, very, very well-regarded young centre-back. And uh, I'd be all over this. I would be very, very, very happy if this was true. They go on to say that it's just not just Liverpool who are interested in Gonzalo and Nacio. Manchester United are linked as well. And I've got to say, I don't want a Nacio. I don't want them for the reasons I've said to you guys previously. The idea of buying a player for 50% more than we could have got him for six months ago just seems lunacy to me. If Liverpool really wanted Gonzalo and Nacio, 
we should have brought him in when he was available for 40 million. Now, with regards to Antonio Silva uh, and Joe Neves, there's no mention of prices here for these dudes. I'm not aware, and I'm sure there are, but I'm not aware of any release clauses in the contract. So this is where I'm going to pass it over to you guys and let me know what you think about those two players being linked. Would they be a good fit for Liverpool? And what do you think a fair valuation would be? If indeed Liverpool or any clubs were to go in and try to steal uh, Joe Neves and Antonio Silva. So, cards on the table. I know a little bit about Joe Neves, not too much. But on Antonio Silva, I am fully sold. Sign me up. Put my name on the dotted line. He'd be very close to the top of my list of players. The reason we kept banging the drum on Hincapié and others is because they were linked to the media. But we've always said, you guys in the chat as well... That Antonio Silva is the one we should be looking at. So if Liverpool are indeed genuinely interested in making a move, I hope they do because he, alongside, let's say, uh, Canade, let's talk about Jarrell Kwanzaa, that's a centre-back pairing or a centre-back selection that could work well for years to come. Obviously, Virgil van Dijk can't play forever. Joe Gomez, he's 26 years of age now. So another young centre-back to go alongside Jarrell Kwanzaa could very well stock us up for the future. So let me know your thoughts on that one. And the final story in this video today is coming from TalkSport, who say that Spurs have registered an interest in Fluminense's Andre Trinidad. Uh, they go on to say that they're willing to sell Hoiberg to fund a move for him. So this again is where Liverpool's interest, or their lack of interest according to certain journalists, baffles me. Is it that Liverpool don't want to be put into a bidding war? And if that is the case, you can understand it, but I still want the player. Spurs mentioned, United mentioned, Arsenal mentioned, Fulham mentioned, uh, a couple of clubs in Italy, Napoli, another club who are interested. So it does look like the race to sign Andre is heating up. But again, I would suggest that if Arsenal really want them or if Spurs really want them, Liverpool can still oust them because we have been the ones tracking him the longest. We're the ones in the communication with Fluminense. But it's all very well and good talking. It's who's going to put up the money. And right now they are saying that Spurs are trying to push to the front of that queue, which according to many reports is being led right now by Fulham to sign Andre. So I want to know your thoughts on this one. Should Liverpool get their finger out and sign Andre? Or do you think that Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool really do have so much faith in Stefan Bajcetic that they're willing to roll the dice and not bring in another reinforcement. For me, when Liverpool have done this in the past, and I've mentioned this time and time again, when we roll the dice, it never works out well for us. I hope we resolve this in January, and I hope it is with Andre. But the more days that go by, the more clubs that get linked to the player. Of course, he's going to be playing in the Club World Cup in Saudi uh, next month. So again, he's going to be under the scrutiny of many clubs around the world. I want us to get this dude and I want us to get it done early doors in the window. So let me know your thoughts. Do you agree or do you disagree? And do you think Liverpool could go head to head, to head with Fulham, Arsenal and Spurs for the player? Or do you think we should walk away and not get drawn into a bidding war? Over to you guys, my friends. I will catch up with you soon. We will be keeping you up to date right throughout the international break with all the latest stories and a couple of watch-alongs along the way over on top of the league as well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.